Hey guys, I'm really excited tonight because I'm going to be trying something a little bit different. Something I've wanted to do since the beginning of my astrophotography journey, but just haven't had the skill. I mean, I've spent the past three years just learning how to get deep space photos, learning about equipment, learning about post-processing. I mean, when I first started, I just had this romantic idea of shooting random things in space just because I had a telescope and I'd just be able to find them. Honestly, through those years, it was just hard to get some of these objects, much less find the old classics that everyone is shooting right now. But tonight, I'm gonna to be shooting a random spot in space. Now, for me to find that object that I want to, want to, bleh, that I want to photograph, I had to look at some of the deep sky surveys like uh, what is available in Solarium. And I found out really quick, those surveys aren't the greatest if you want to find a target and just kind of peruse around, you know, space and find interesting things to shoot. But I did map an area last year and I wasn't really mapping the area. I was just trying to get my first mosaic. Maybe a few of you guys remember that and I'll post that video here in the description. But in doing so, making that huge mosaic that I got, I mapped this awesome part of the Milky Way. And in it are these objects in there that I just totally want to shoot. And tonight I'm gonna to go for it. So this area of the Milky Way, I actually call the dragon's head because to me, that's what it looks like. It kind of looks like a dragon's head. And it just so happens that the focal length on my Hyperstar fits it perfectly. And because I've never shot it before, besides last year at F2, I'm going to be shooting it again at F2, but with an extended focal length off my C6. Now I'll be using three filters. I'll be using my hydrogen alpha filter, my oxygen three filter, and my sulfur two filter as well. And if you've never seen my C6 Hyperstar, here's my setup. So hopefully with my really fast optics, I'll be getting a lot of data in there, but I'm not really sure. I mean, all those filters isolate, you know, nebula gas, right? And from what I'm seeing here, most of that stuff that I'm trying to go after is actually dust. I mean, I think it does show up uh, in HA, but it's not quite HA, right? So I'm not really sure how much exposure time I'm going to need. And I have limited time tonight as well. I have about two hours that I can go out and shoot. And that means that I'm going to need to get like, I don't know, 20 minutes in each filter, I guess, you know, and two runs maybe on that. I don't know. It's, going to be pretty tight, right? So I should have 40 subs in each filter for two. That'll make two hours of data. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know how successful I'm going to be, but I mean, it's uh, something I've always wanted to do and I think I can handle it right now. So I guess the only thing we need to do is wait for the sun to go down and start imaging. Right, I am underway on uh, my smash and grab for the evening. I'm only gonna be out here for two hours, like I was saying. Uh, hopefully that's gonna be enough, I'm sure it is. Check that out. <laughs> 
almost 100% full moon. Full moon is tomorrow night. And tonight I'm gonna to be taking three minute subs in each filter. That's what I'm going for, because I want a deep exposure. All right, I've just completed my first 30 minutes in HA and I switched to 03 right now, waiting for my first sub to return. But if you're interested in seeing what my composition's like, sorry, let me move that over there. Uh, here it is. So I got uh, these two stars. According to this, it's Omicron Cygni. And then what I like to call the uh, dragon's head. So I just think it looks like a dragon. Totally. I didn't notice this at first, but I think this is the uh, propeller nebula right there. So I'll definitely be shooting that. And, uh, of course, all this cool stuff here in Cygnus, so. But, yeah. Just shooting random space. Uh, when I lost my, this, Dark Sky Sight last year, uh, they were bulldozing it. Now they're, it's just kind of cranes everywhere up here. It's pretty sad. Uh, like I said, I should have this place up until the fall but I'm gonna be really sad when I get kicked out of this place again like twice you know what I mean you know the one thing I wish I could get is a filter wheel for the hyperstar uh, because I have a tiny c6 that just isn't possible I really like swapping out filters manually but there's some times where i just wish i could get a filter wheel on these things and tonight are one of those nights for sure all right this is one of the brightest nights i've shot in a long time so i'm hoping i got enough data i got two hours of total exposure time so I guess this is a good night, guys, and I'll see you in the morning. Well, that was a pretty nice, sweet, short night, wasn't it? Uh, I didn't really know that the moon was going to be that bright. <laughs> and uh, I think looking back, probably would, was a bad idea to try and get O3 in there. Honestly, when I was looking through my monitor, uh, a lot of that O3 that might have been in there, I, I think it was washed out pretty much. I, I think my O3 stuff was washed out. Now, I was really surprised with how much data I did get, especially in hydrogen alpha and S2. So in the HA, I could kind of see the structure of it and a little bit in the S2, but it was pretty faint and I was really hoping through stacking uh, it would be a lot more pronounced. And it definitely was actually. Uh, I got this photo and I really liked how it turned out. I kind of framed the stars in the corner and then all the dust-ish type of stuff out there kind of had this ghostly appearance to it. I, I really dig this photo. I, if, I bet if I sink a lot more exposure time in here, I'll get more of the dark nebula that's kind of floating around in there. Probably a lot more color in that area as well. And I think this is just something I'm just going to keep working on. So this is only two hours. So imagine where this is going to be in another two hours during a night with no full moon. So I, I can't wait to keep shooting this. Man, I have a lot of projects going right now, don't I? <laughs> that I started. Um, I don't know. Do you guys start projects too and you're excited for the next one? And all of a sudden you have a whole bunch of projects going on? I don't know. That's what I do. I, I think I have Astro ADD. So let me know down in the comments if you do too. So that would make me feel better. <laughs> Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. I'm going to be shooting more targets that I'm just going to randomly select. And um, 
Yeah, I guess that's it for this one. And I'll see you in the next. Peace.